on over the weekend. Tonight, that man says he is thankful for the Good Samaritan that ran to his aid. Fox 25 Sarah Smith is live in Maysville tonight. Sarah, what a story here. I'm glad he's doing okay. Yeah, can you imagine being attacked by bees in your own yard, Wendy? The beekeeper here said there were 7,000 of them in that hive, and that's why the family put up this sign. A normal Friday morning for 81 year old Carl Amos mowing his front yard, then a swarm of bees. He got off the lawnmower and he started toward our front porch. He thought there was a can of off there, so it was only a few bees and he thought, well, that would take care of him. Carl then falling and breaking his hip, his wife Barbara says. Then he really was in trouble because then more bees were coming and stinging and he couldn't see and he couldn't really move because of his broken hip. Barbara says an employee from a business behind their home spots Carl three hours later. She was returning from out of town when paramedics got there. They really saved his life and we are so eternally grateful for them. Beekeepers removing the hive on Tuesday. We uh, heard about these bees and how aggressive they were and how they stung this old man a hundred times and end, he ended up in the hospital, we, we thought, well, maybe these are bees that we don't want to keep, that we need to eliminate those kind of bees. He's really a tough guy. I really have never met him yet because he's in the hospital, but uh, he, he'd have to be really tough to withstand that many stings. Barbara says they're expecting to leave the hospital Wednesday and spend a few weeks in rehab because of Carl's broken hip. I guess if you say a person has grit, he has grit. Once he determines to do something, he does it. And he has extreme faith in God, of course. We don't hear much about the killer bee here in central Oklahoma, but experts say they are here and could be hiding on your property, like what happened in our story. If you want to learn more about the killer bee or help out this family, visit our website, okcfox.com. Live in Maysville, Sarah Smith, Fox 25 News. Sarah, thank you. We now know the cause of death for the man accused in a crash.